Hello YouTube, Western 97 here bringing you a continuation of my Let's Play Master of the Republic 2 Sith Lord's Dark Side playthrough. We are still trying to find the accursed droid head. Now, apparently we have missed someone in the canteen. But that's all the help of the internet was. Because apparently there's supposed to be a droid uh, person that sells droid bits, which is I assume the guy that hasn't spawned yet. So. You need any more work done? Huh. If you ask me, she got what she deserved. That Bith keeps buying droids. And the scavengers keep stealing him or blowing him up. Seems he's finally given up. The waitress is awful, but she's more fun than his droids ever were. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. I could tell you where you could find the parts, though. That western square has the perfect fence for droid parts. There is a droid vendor called 1B8D. That droid is as dumb as a Gamorrean. He'll buy anything because he's too stupid to do anything else. 1B8D is quite handy. Quite a few of the slum dwellers make a good living salvaging droid parts for him. You might have even bought some. Thank you. Now it'll show up. As I say, I can't remember it being part or broken. Greetings, Master. Entity Behema unknown. I have many serving droid parts. The market rate for those parts would be 25 credits. Thank you for your business. Chief and the cantina can probably do something with this. We should head back. Yes. Put your hand on the right keys on the keyboard, Westy. It helps. I can't remember what swirl the sword is anymore. Thought it used to be X. Apparently not X. Right. Let's go talk to the master hacker. Do need the one. Da hupa go sakurata go jujutu yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki yuki totune. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita ta bosana ansata. Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita, ta bosanan ansata. Right. Nick out the. God, guy, I hope. Some terrible name. Twenty-five credits for a droid head is cheap, or at least I think it is. Be the right guy. Be the right guy. Be the right guy. Back again, off. Oh, you're not the right guy. Oh, dang it. So, we've got to take it to Nick. No, okay. Now, where the hell is he? No, back again. What the? 
Does Mac have one of the guys in the canteen? You're that swoop biker, right? My friend says you should go pro. I like how I haven't ridden a swoop bike since the first game. It looks like freaking hit it in the first game. And it rammed it down your throat, so you couldn't avoid it. At least for when I did the good side playthrough, I know where to go for this bit. <laughs> Welcome back. My deck is still foul business, that is. Like most If it'll help Dagon, you got it. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. We should go talk to Captain Riken and clear all of this up. Yay! Nico, is it? And the off-worlder. What brings the two of you here? That's a bold statement. I assume yep. you have some sort of proof. A totally not edited droid feed. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing Pazak. It was a prosperous night. That should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulio, but this will greatly assist our investigation. Hi, Doc. The Mandalorian wants to have a chat you with you. You have been about ordered training. off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Have you read the report? Some of the things Sulio called him were vile. Sulio and Dagon clearly hated each other. Uh, what he meant to say, Major, is that they were friends. So these two were friends? A friend would never say such things to another friend. You expect me to believe... It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Bahima, the bartender, can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. Well, there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. So what? What matters is who was there first. An eyewitness said he came from his office almost immediately. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Sulio was killed, and he did not have an alibi. You have a recording? And I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Ghent. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Ghent free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's gonna be on your head. I wonder if I can... Bring him in. The men will be working on getting Dagon Gan out right away. <laughs> the Major sure isn't happy. You're quite a team. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. I've heard there's been some concern about that. With Dagon free, I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. I'm not gonna say any more. Probably said too much already. If you head over to Dagon Ghent's office, some men will bring him there shortly. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up. Kill it on the fall, guy. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but we all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. Yep. And you all follow your orders. Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had definite class, but I prefer being out on my own all the same. What the hell happened to you, anyway? Your face looks like the back end of a dewback. Well, regardless, 
I owe you and Mandalore one. Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut's vault. I know a few people, though. Who do you need to get in touch with? A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a Master there, I think I know who it is. There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those disks because they have some contact information on them. The people I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure. And that holodisk has the procedure. But Kel's gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one that cleaned me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as Drexel leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. If you take Mandalore with you, though, you should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted holodisc. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him. Right, have I got a couple mines? Yes. Follow the captain. Going to meet an unfortunate accident. The fuck there, damn it. Thug's not looking in the right direction, but still. My favorite is a lot of credits to be made around here lately. No. If you have the right skills. Stay out of trouble. I feel you tried it bad enough seeing anything. Am I not carrying my lightsaber? No. That's why X was. No, swirl Jedi. Lightsaber. Right. Let's go have a chat with the woman. Get the holodisks. Kill the Jedi Master. Maybe kill the Queen. Definitely kill the Queen. And get off this rock. Are you satisfied with your payment? Uh Not you. Ah, there you are. What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. Stick up your Jackie. You? And just how do you intend to do that? Those words will be your. Ooh. Why are we not? Bin! Bin for me! Alright, really long. 
Painful full strain. Painful full strain. Yeah. I have another half open visa. So we can give that to the other guy that was gonna pay me like five thousand. I can't remember who was who was that guy. Um Who was gonna pay me five grand? Someone was gonna pay me the grand. You, I think. Put alright, put alright, the mannequin. Look at Cameron in the store and we. Yeah, no. It wasn't you. Can I sell her a second one? I don't think so. Are you satisfied with your pay? Damn it. No, I didn't think we could. It was worth a try. Let's go back to the old man. We'll get the guy this visa port on the way out. Have you found the encrypted holodisks yet? I won't be able to get a hold of my contacts from the palace without it. Great going there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter. You best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting us. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in Isis anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Come back when you're ready. Better yet, call the whole thing off. Palace politics can get you killed these days. Yep, that's just what'll happen with a Jedi Master. Right, we got any more quests down here that? Yeah, we gotta give. Tell her that we've. Ki I mean, they kept in met an unfortunate accident in a back alley that may look like lightsaber wounds or false lightning wounds oh that'd be so nice if we could frame the Jedi for it you're back to visit me so all three captains have been removed from their posts you're quite impressive here's the reward I promised I will let my friends know of your able assistance I'm certain we can return the favor at some point in the future you've made a powerful ally Jedi Oh, the XP! Now, was it this tall kit around this corner that was going to give me like five grand for it? Or was it like two thousand or something? So, you're back. My offer is still. This is excellent news. I'll gladly pay you 2,000 credits for it. You're right, of course. The absolute highest I can pay is 3,000 credits. No, the pleasure is all mine. Could have false persuaded it, but that leaves residual energies. Right, so what? Quest? No, that's not a quest. Can't do that one. They're the dumb ones, so yeah, I think that's all the quests. I'm at full health. Let's go kill a Jedi.
So you still intend to go through with it? Yep. I can schedule the meeting with your Jedi Master as soon as you like. Like I was saying, though, once I use my contact, you may be in over your head. You may not be welcome back on Isis again. Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Vaklu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. That's what I was afraid you'd say. I'm gonna kill you with grenades. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. Like how Mandalor did not have the chat about him helping the Republic. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Kavar, the famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. I have my ways as well. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore. Even an old friend. Yeah. That's why I'm gonna kill you. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expo- Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain, only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men! And watch your aim! Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must return to the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of him! I won't let Kavar escape! This cantina is infested with life. A well-placed grenade could cleanse some of the dirty and insignificant souls here. Now, I don't have a great many grenades, but I do have false lighting. This does tend to Stop um... the fighting! Stop! Sergeant, take care of the witnesses. I'm sorry we had to do that. Appearances have to be maintained, and I'm afraid we don't have much time. You've helped out General Vaklu, and he understands how to show gratitude. We have allies, terrible allies. They want you dead. However, the General believes you could ultimately be an even greater ally. But we have to maintain appearances. Do you understand? Sure, why not? I... I meant no offense. I am sorry. You helped Ander with something that has been a serious problem for us. The General believes you have already been a more faithful ally than our current ones. That's I assume you want to know more about our ally. There is little we know about him, or her, even. It's a Sith Lord. No idea of the name. Frankly, we had no idea who we were dealing with at first, and by the time we did, it was too late. Uh, 
The General believes we can make a new alliance that will be in both of our interests. Vaklu wants to control all of Onderon, and perhaps more down the road. The Republic's time is nearly over, and strong men like him will rule the age to come. You have shown that you are strong too, and he feels it inevitable that you become a force to be reckoned with. We'd like to ask your assistance in dealing with our ally, the Sith Lord. We have much to offer in return. Show one up. Eventually, we will attack Queen Talia's palace. Isis is an ancient city filled with artifacts from our darker past. Some of those might be especially useful to you. Besides, the Sith Lord wants you dead, and an enemy of our enemy. Show one up. For now, it's simple. We have to act like you're our enemy. When you leave this cantina, my men have orders to kill you. There is no way they could possibly stand up to you. But they don't know that. Leave Isis, and don't come back until we send a message for you. If the payment I've offered you is insufficient, I assure you General Vaklu himself can offer you a satisfactory deal. You must make a choice. Will you support us, or the Queen? Vaklu is a political animal. But he has never backed out of a deal. The Sith must have changed their arrangement substantially for him to consider betraying them. You can trust his offer. He's far more capable than Queen Talia is. I think allying with him is the best course. Credibility is important in Onderon politics. If he betrayed you and betrayed the Sith, his reign would be a short one. That can easily be arranged. That is also in both of our interests. We have a deal then. Like I told you, the men outside will try to kill you. We will talk later. Let's go kill the groupies. Oh no. It's... No soldiers. There we go. Oh no, soldiers. Whatever shall I do? I think. Like me. Oh, I recall them saying something that the Mandalorian was worth so many gods and the Jedi was worth so many Mandalorians. At least he acknowledged that they weren't going to stop me. Well, I am the all powerful you two. You will bow to my analytics. Ooh, missed one. My friends, so they're just standing there and letting him burn. Oh, cry. Right. I think this is the case of back to the Ebon Hawk and get off this accursed rock. What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? What? Why? That makes no sense. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? They've been getting bolder recently. You, you must be mistaken. Soldiers just don't attack civilians without orders. If it weren't for the comm blackout, I'd check with command. Just head to the safety of the Merchant Square, citizen. We'll send a patrol to investigate as soon as we can contact our HQ. So, at least his blackout is helping me get out. You know what to do. 
Let's do it. Why are the commoners trying to kill me? Get him. Oh, dang it. She leveled up. I heard the level up side, I was like, yeah, I leveled up. I'm getting stronger with the boss, and it's her. Not that you're remotely dark side. How far off am I? I just say I like. I knew I had to be there. Don't need. Cause the diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired. What the hell does that mean? It means I'm gonna get shot by a turret because freaking turrets. A weakness is revealed. This one Wow, I shall make this one see. Stand at the bottom and just look at it. Because I don't have oh wait, I have fast lightning. I just can't be bothered to use it because What's wrong? Logical requirements. See I I don't understand why he also has a lot of strength and then a lot of shooting skills. Eh, whatever. Your visa's been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. Things are going crazy in this quarter. Well, you did see your turrets just try and gun me down. The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's going to be some time before they forget about us here. No more trips to ISIS for us until the situation changes. A lot. Yay! Level up! But I'll save that for the next episode. Because I have passed the 30 minute mark and I just want off this rock. So I will say I've been Western 97 and this has been my Let's Play Nice Guard Republic 2, the Dark Side playthrough. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you are, leave a like, let me know you want to prioritize it over other games I play, and I do play for you. That being said, as always, until next time, take care, goodbye, and pathfinding is always my problems. There we go. We escape. And get shot down by the anti aircraft gardens because. Oh, okay. No one time we get shot down in this swamp. That's where we find one of the Jedi's that I think can join us. If I'm um, remembering rightly. I've already casted my memory back some years now. But, either way. We're it's... back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you. And you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. I don't have it in me. It's a matter of self-interest. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic. And then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later.
The Ebonhawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. Well, that's all issues for another episode. Till then, I've been Western 97 and this has been my Let's Play Nuts, The Old Republic 2. Thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.